that's not what CNC carbide tools are made for. What we need is a proper cutter. So let's just make an aluminum cutter housing like this. That's our prototype. And see how we can utilize our work holding, our different strategies um, to make this a real cool aluminum cutter. My name is Mark. Welcome to another Daytron Tech Talk. We all know the standard vacuum plates of the Daytron Neo. So you see these 500 by 200 millimeters with all the sections 100 by 100. What we want to use today is kind of a blank vacuum plate like this. So it's the, the, the same shape, but there are no grooves on the top. All we have are the six holes to bolt it to the table. And what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate four sections of the standard vacuum with the, uh, with the meander slots, with these grooves. And on the rest of the plate, we're gonna make pockets. So after we cut it from the first side, we want to put it in place so it gets a mechanical stability. Um, so it's a negative form with a jig. And then we use gasket, we use rubber gasket to like seal um, the different sections where we have flat areas that can then hold the part. So an entire vacuum fixture, pretty excited for that. We're also using the, these little rubber plugs that you know from the standard ones, so we can even activate and deactivate single positions. One thing to note, we're gonna make four parts of those at one shot. So let's take a closer look at the design of the plate. Now on the left, like I said, we have the uh, four sections of the meander grooves and on the right are the pockets with the exact shape of our, of our, um, of our knives or of our um, housings. In the, uh, in the red section, that's where the vacuum actually goes through and holds the part. And on the green one or in the green grooves, we put the gasket in. So let's just put that plate onto the machine make a, a light cut, a face milling cut, so we have a flat um, surface, and then start the actual milling. All right, here is my special fixture for our cutter. Meander slots, 200 by 200, and the four positions, the jigs actually. So what we need now is the gaskets into these slots. We've put all the dimensions, the width and the depth of these slots in the description below. Uh, so you get the idea of how we make it because they don't have to be, or they, they shouldn't be too high. Um, otherwise, the parts would not properly lie on the fixture. So I put it, put it in without any stress. And then cut it off like slightly longer. so that the start and the end have a connection to each other. So this is how the gasket should be in and also the little rubber plugs for the vacuum to go through, sit in, and then we're almost ready to mill. My prototype fits nicely into the jig. So there's also like a little suspension from the rubber from below. So fixture is ready. Um, if you're interested in this kind of vacuum plate with no meanders, just blank, as we worked um, today with it, um, we put all the, uh, the products in the description below, as well as all the uh, rubber components, the gaskets, and the, um, 
the plugs. In the next episode, we're gonna see what we need to actually cut this knife on this fixture. And then we're also gonna check out why we have these three um, round pockets. That's a little nice feature at the end. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, bye bye.